Now, Pope Francis is creating 19 new cardinals at a ceremony in Rome this morning. They include the head of the Roman Catholic Church here in England and Wales, Vincent Nichols. Uh, this will make him one of the most senior advisers to the Pope. I'm very lucky to have our own expert, uh, regional uh, Robert Pickett, who is going to report uh, on the consistory today. When Vincent Nichols kneels before Pope Francis to have a scarlet beretta, the red hat of a cardinal, placed on his head, he'll become one of only 120 clerics with the right to elect future popes. Vincent Nichols always seemed destined for high office. He's considered a capable manager and a shrewd political operator. An archbishop at the age of 54, he proved an effective defender of Catholic schools and helped establish measures to guard against sex abuse. It's a step that I never imagined that I would would be part of my life, but it's a privilege to be part, as it were, of the oversight that Pope Francis tries to give to the church and helps, as it were, to encourage, inspire and steer the church in the right direction. He's had to wait for his red hat. His apparent support of civil partnerships and of gay-friendly masses in London and a perceived slowness to support the special section of the church for Anglican converts alienated some traditionalists. Now the teenager who considered ordination while watching Liverpool play football at Anfield has become a key papal advisor and will command even greater attention for his church's teaching. As his recent criticism of the government's welfare changes suggests, he's likely to make his new status count. Robert Piggott, BBC News. Well, I was going to say before that report that we're lucky to have our own Vatican expert in Rome, our correspondent David Willey, who is there for us. David, can you remember how many of these consistories you've sat in on? Uh, quite honestly, no, but uh, I should think at least half a dozen. Uh, what is uh, extraordinary about this particular consistory, however, is that we have not one pope, but two popes present. This, uh, we were very surprised to see pope, former Pope Benedict, who of course is living in retirement inside the Vatican these days, uh, taking part in his first public ceremony in St Peter's Basilica since his uh, departure last year. He's sitting uh, uh, watching the proceedings uh, next to all the new cardinals. Uh, the, the Pope has given him a special uh, point of honour to, to, to witness today's ceremony. Um, we've sat through many a consistory together when Pope Benedict was there, David. How do you think this one differs? Well, there's a different emphasis. It's very interesting. The new cardinals come from 12 different countries, and uh, there's a preponderance of, uh, obviously, people from new cardinals from Latin America, uh, and uh, there are two from Africa, um, fewer Italians, although there are uh, four Italians being promoted, but these are already people who've got top jobs inside the Vatican and the red hat that they're getting this morning is a sort of confirmation of their, the importance of their office. But certainly there's a shift in emphasis towards the developing world where uh, the Catholic Church is now strongest uh, and away from Europe. Mm. Uh, aside from those who live and work among the poor, though, David, he's obviously concentrating on the mega cities. so we have a new cardinal from Rio, and, of course, our very own from London, Vincent Nichols, who has shown himself to be a man who is prepared to take on the difficult issues. Indeed, and I, I thought it was very interesting that uh, uh, Archbishop Nichols, now Cardinal Nichols, um, uh, on the Today programme uh, uh, earlier today was uh, talking about how, uh, what an honour it is for him uh, to be uh, now one of the um, people providing advice and guidance to Pope um, Francis. Uh, we're in a new sort of situation in which the Pope has invited uh, not only the new cardinals but also the existing cardinals to share with him in the governance of the church. This is a, a totally new attitude really from Rome which has hitherto uh, regarded the Pope as the apex of a sort of pyramid of, of command. Uh, Pope Francis um, is basically asking new cardinals to think outside the box to come up with creative new ideas 
ideas as to how to spread the gospel message in a world which is radically different to um, the sort of problems that previous popes had to face uh, during the 20th century and earlier. Uh, the church is changing. Um, it's uh, the signs are there. The, the, the there's there's not. I think he's made it clear there's not going to be any sudden change in Catholic teaching or doctrine. But certainly there's an emphasis on first of all the developing world and a second emphasis on the poor world, on dealing with uh, countries that suffer from um, poverty and where there is a, an extreme imbalance of wealth. Very different emphasis indeed. David, lovely to see you. We'll come back to you through the morning. David Willey there, our correspondent in Rome.